this is it. Welcome to May Day Story Time. Hi, my name's Jez. Um, I gotta get myself set up with some lighting here. Haha. -ha. What uh, what would be good? Red, green, blue, white. You think red is better? Or maybe strobe. So I'm here. I'm getting ourselves set up. I'm gonna wait a little bit while we get some people attending. Uh, I'm gonna try to invite some of my friends. Uh, see if my mom's online right now. That sounds good. Um, friend Richie. Oh, look, I got one eye, one eyeball. Hello, welcome to Mayday Story Time. Uh, feel free to use the chat to introduce yourself. Um, should just go down the list. I have a lot of Facebook friends that I've accumulated over the years. A lot of people I, I don't even remember who they are. Yeah, who's this? Bobby Wobbly. Bobby Wobbly. I don't. I don't know who that is, but I think I want them to come to my day, May Day story time. Eric, my brother, Tyler, my brother. Let's see. Yeah, all the all of my friends from Occupy Wall Street. Oh, wow, I ran out. That's that's all they suggested. Oh, that's too bad. We'll see. We've got ooh. Yeah, one I got. I thought it was an angry face. Uh, so it looked like somebody gave me an angry face, but somebody gave me a, a a care care emoji. That's great. How do you like my hat? Susie Albert. Oh, Susie Silbert says Avi 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 is ready for story time. You Avi, that's great. Uh, I was just thinking of a a song that I wanted to sing. Uh, and, um, I actually have a couple songs prepared for story time, and I'll, I'll uh, I'll so share some, some lyrics. But, um, what to do first? What's a solid one? How about, uh, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, right? We're all little stars today. I'm I'm feeling like a star. I'm on Facebook Live. <laughs> so here's how we go. We're gonna try to sing along with me, okay? Ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond. feeling like a little child? I don't know, I feel kind of like a child right now. I'm just playing around on Facebook Live. <laughs> thanks for joining me. Oh, thanks Angela for correcting that uh, that emoji. That was uh, that was worrisome. I thought people were really upset that I was starting <laughs> story time late. Anyway, uh, so this is uh, Facebook Live. This is the story time from not from Brower Park Library, but that's where I'm a, a, a librarian at Brower Park Library in Brooklyn, and um, I uh, 
I decided to do my story time inside today. It's a little bit uh, dreary outside at the moment, but um, a little later, I don't know, some of the stories I have are related to outside, going outside. So we're actually going to go outside later. Um, not right now. I, I know I just picked up the, the computer like, I'm going to go outside. I'm not going to go outside yet. No, no, okay. Um, but I will show you what's outside here in chicken. So this is a cool place. I'm, I'm actually staying in Ithaca, New York right now, and we have an amazing backyard here. I've seen all kinds of creatures. Actually, Marissa and I have has noticed a few kinds of creatures out here. Um, we saw deer. We saw, uh, we saw a skunk wandering around. There was, there's lots of chipmunks and squirrels. I didn't see anything outside yet, but I decided we'll, we'll do a little follow-up video to this live thing after the stories go, and, uh, and I'll show you what's in my backyard. So one more time, twinkle twinkle little star, everybody's getting ready. You ready to rock out? This is, this is for all the rock stars out there, okay? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a rock star in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh, Ronan's here. Cool. Hey, Ronan. Thanks for joining. You said it about bird watching. Maybe we can imagine that it's, uh, this is a new song. It's, it's Tweet, Tweet, Little Bird. Okay, here it goes. Tweet, 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 little bird. How I wonder how absurd this song gets when you make up words. Like tweet, 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 little bird. Tweet, 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 little bird. Don't you, don't you think it's so absurd? Do you know the word absurd? <laughs> absurd means weird. <laughs> and strange. Um, and I've got some strange books planned for you today. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull one out right now. First book of the day. What do you notice about that book? Oh, that book. That book's got stripes. I feel like my lighting background is giving me weird, weird lighting effects. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and go with a more red tone. Because what we got here is Super Stripe Book, Tiger Stripes Book. Hi, Wana. Thanks for joining me at the story time. I appreciate that you were laughing at my uh, absurd rendition of twink Tweedle Tweedle Little Bird. This book is about a tiger that likes things a little bit absurd. In fact, they like to go wild. This book is called Mr. Tiger Goes Wild by Peter Brown. I'm gonna get myself a better, better light here. All right, did you check out my pants? Cool. So this one, this book's called Mr. Tiger Goes Wild by Peter Brown. Seems like a good day to go wild. May Day. Here we go. Everyone. Everyone's perfectly fine with the way things work. Can you see all of our animals? Oh, they look so proper. Everyone but Mr. Tiger. 
Mr. Tiger, do you look? Do you think Mr. Tiger looks very happy? No. Mr. Tiger was bored with always being so proper. Oh, would you like to have some tea? Oh, yes, give me some tea. Could I have a crumpet with my tea? Yes, you may. Oh, thank you. Let's sip our tea now. Hmm. Do you like tea? I like tea, but not this kind of tea. This is too proper for me. Oh, here we are. Good day, Mr. Tiger. Uh, good day, Mr. Deer. Lovely weather we're having, I suppose. Indeed. What a lovely conversation. Or boring. <laughs> now, children, please do not act like wild animals. But what? They are animals. You know what? We're all animals. But why do people want us to not act wild? Well, you can see in our very proper town, everything is very clean and quaint. But Mr. Tiger, he wanted to loosen up. He wanted to have some fun. He wanted to be wild. Can you say wild? I say it like a tiger. Wild. Ready? Give it one more time. One, two, three. Wild. <laughs> yep. And then, one day, Mr. Tiger had a very wild idea. What's Mr. Tiger doing? Looks like he's getting down to the ground. Boom. On all fours! Boy, that's just not very proper, is it? Look at all these animals. Are any of these animals on there all fours? No, no, it looks like they're all standing on two feet. And they're looking at Mr. Tiger on all fours. Mr. Tiger felt better already. Whoosh! Mr. Tiger became wilder and wilder each day. Ah! Ooh, looks like Mr. Tiger's climbing the top of that building. Oh, and here's Mr. Tiger giving a wild roar. You want to join me? It's May Day. We got to go a little wild today. All right? Are you ready to go give me a big roar? All right? Everybody. Three, two, one. Roar! Can somebody give me a, a a roar in the in the chat this time? Add it, add a roar into your chat, okay? If you have a, a little keyboard, uh, I encourage you to make a big roar in the chat. Ready? We're gonna do it on the count of three. On three, two, one, roar! <laughs> Oh, some people are having tea? Oh, they, they're eating... Oh, it's peppermint tea with cocoa and honey and oat milk. Oh my gosh, that's an amazing tea idea. It sounds pretty wild to me. Whoa, Mr. Tiger leaping over the rooftops. Mr. Tiger's friends did not know what to think. And they said strange words. Peculiar. Wow. Unacceptable. Hmm. You can imagine the uh, a pigeons here. They're probably saying absurd. Can you say that word? Absurd.
what's happening next for Mr. Tiger. And then Mr. Tiger went a little too far. Mr. Tiger, what are you doing? You jumped into that water fountain. And, uh-oh, looks like Mr. Tiger <gasps> went wild. Is Mr. Tiger wearing any clothes? No way. Mr. Tiger went naked. Do you like to get naked, kids? Be careful about where you where you get naked. Might be a little too wild. But Mr. Tiger, his friends had lost their patience. Mr. Tiger, if you act wild, kindly do so in the wilderness. And they pointed out of town. And Mr. Tiger said, well, what a magnificent idea. I think I'll go to the wilderness. So Mr. Tiger escaped the proper town into the wilderness. Mr. Tiger ran away. Ran away into the wilderness. And what's special about the wilderness that's not the city? Hmm, well, what do you see in the wilderness? You might see some big trees like this. Oh, yeah, or like plants, you know? Weeds and flowers and... Oh, water, rushing water. Wow, I've been seeing all kinds of rushing water up here in, in Ithaca. You know what they say, Ithaca is gorgeous. Which must be related to the word gorge because, yeah, there's a lot of gorges up here. Yeah, Mr. Tiger went completely wild. Look at Mr. Tiger prancing through the weeds and the flowers. Mr. Tiger chasing the fish. Mr. Tiger climbing a tree. Whoa, right in the middle. <laughs> and Mr. Tiger giving a nice big roar. Wow, I see some people chatted some big roars here. This is great. Roar! 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 You ready to give a big roar? This would be a good time to, to get a drink of water because roaring will really dry your voice out. Drink some water and get ready for a big roar. Three, two, one. Roar! I don't know if it sounds like a tiger here, but I am giving my wild jazz roar. And don't you love that moment after a big roar? It's just silent and peaceful. But Mr. Tiger, Mr. Tiger, was there anybody around for Mr. Tiger to talk to or play with? No, Mr. Tiger was lonely. Mr. Tiger missed his friends and he missed the city and he missed his home so mr tiger decided to return oh look here's his friends on the top of the hill they're waving hey mr tiger and he found that things we're beginning to change. Oh, look at that. Some of our animals are walking on all fours. Maybe getting a little wild over here. A couple of wild little kids. Ready to go wild, right? 
Now Mr. Tiger felt free to be himself. Mr. Tiger could be free to dress how he wanted and express himself. And so did everyone else. The end. There we go, that's Mr. Tiger Goes Wild on your lovely May Day story time. One other important thing about May Day story time uh, is, uh, well, this is a time to remember uh, about the labor movement. Because not so very long ago, uh, many people, when they kind of would dress like this, actually, they, they had to go to work from morning till night, and they barely had enough money to pay for what they eat, for what where to live, or even if they got sick. And even children might have to go work at dangerous jobs. And bosses of companies could decide how much time people had to work, how much money they would get, and how how much money they could make from the people that did the work. So, this was pretty unfair. Like, not good, right? Do you want to go work at a dangerous job? Not me either. So to fight this unfair situation, workers decided to get together in groups called unions. Can you say union? Union. And they would talk about their work, they would talk about their lives, and they would talk about their dreams and how they could change their jobs so that they were better for everybody. And May 1st is an important day. This was like the, the most important day for the labor uh, movement and the unions because people fought. On this day, they went on strike. In 1886, there was thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people around the United States that uh, went on strike to, to demand better jobs and better pay and better, well, really more freedom in how they work. And it's true around the world, actually, May 1st is widely known as the, well, what is it? It's the International Workers Day. Yeah. So today is dedicated to the workers. And I've got a special song. The song is is a special worker song um which I have the lyrics for actually. The 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 lyrics are kind of complicated, I'll be honest. Um but the 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 chorus is very easy. And so I'm going to just paste it into our chat here. And you can sing that along with me. I also put chords in there because I'm going to be looking at the chords. While... So this is a song called Solidarity Forever. When the union's inspiration through the workers' blood shall run, there can be no power greater than anywhere beneath the sun. Yet what force on earth is weaker than the feeble force of one? But the union makes us strong. So this is the chorus that goes. Solidarity forever, solidarity forever, solidarity forever, for the union makes us strong. So there's more. 
more verses, all right? Ready to go. Come along with me here. Is there aught we hold in common with the greedy parasite who would lash us into serfdom and would crush us with his might? Is there anything left to us but to organize and fight that the union makes us strong? So ready, sing along. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. For the union makes us strong. So there's a lot of big words in this song. Um, the most important one is solidarity. We'll talk about that afterwards, but just come along with me for this. It is we who plowed the prairies, built the cities where they trade, dug the mines and built the workshops, and list miles of railroad laid. Now we stand outcast and starving midst the wonders we have made, but the union makes us strong. Solidarity forever. Solidarity Greater than the might of armies, magnified a thousandfold. We can bring to birth a new world from the ashes of the old. For the union makes us strong. Last time, solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever, for the union makes us strong. No, we're not going to stop. We're going to go one more time. You know, this is never ending. It's forever. Ready? Go. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Solidarity for the union makes us strong. Yeah! Solidarity forever! That's a song by Pete Seeger. And uh, it's a very important song, actually. It's just um, because I realized one of the reasons that I have a... Uh, a good job, one that uh, I feel like free in, in many ways. That's that it's a job that takes care of me and other librarians and other people that work for the library. It's because we have a union. And it's one of the reasons that, that I'm able, for example, to be home right now and uh, doing this Facebook Live with you in a much safer place. Um, where I'm not exposed to the coronavirus. Now, not everybody has a union. And you might see there are workers who are actually in bad conditions right now. Like they're in conditions where they're getting sick, they're not getting paid enough, and 
they deserve a better workplace. And it's important for us to remember those people right now um, and to, to, to support them in their struggle because we all deserve a job. Not, we, what we all deserve is to be able to live and uh, thrive based on whatever work that we do. And we deserve to have a, a healthy, a healthy place to do that. So solidarity. What does solidarity mean? <laughs> solidarity is a very important word. And actually, I mean, I have a solidarity song. I have a song about solidarity. I feel like I should sing that song, right? about um, well it was about the, the price of uh, the metro like to take the buses and the metro in Brazil and people were rallying in New York City to support the people in Brazil who were protesting and demanding like more fairness in the expense of the metro system so I had this question, why are we all gathered in New York when the people are in Brazil? Like, what does that mean? Remember the rest of the lyrics right now. I, I, I didn't prepare for the song. <laughs> you don't know what solidarity is? The thing is, I could talk about solidarity, yeah. I think solidarity is um, boy, it's, it's listening to people who are, who are asking for your attention. Um, Um, yeah, I don't have a good definition of solidarity. I have a, a good idea of like a number of things that you can do for solidarity. Like, oh, if somebody's like, you know, asking for help for something, 
right? Um, especially this is true of any workers that are going on strike. Like, if they're they're on strike, they're demanding our attention to see them and to realize that their jobs are not great right now and we need to support them and we need to uh, support them in other ways. What, what other ways can you support people who are striking? You could tell the business that the workers deserve to get what they need. Yeah. That might be a good way. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm sorry I'm not pre more prepared for this one right now. This would have been a very logical transition. I just didn't think of it until now. So the point here being, I'm gonna share one more story with you, okay? Um, and this is a this is a book, which is called "I'm in Charge of Celebrations." It's by Bird Baylor and Peter Parnell. And this book, I think, is important. You know, it's important because it te tells us to, to celebrate beyond even May Day. And in fact, we're in charge of the celebrations that we have, that we make. Look at this. Wow, they're out some people out in the middle of the desert and they say sometimes people ask me aren't you lonely out there with just the desert all around you and I guess this mean they mean the bear grass and the yuccas and the cactus and the rocks I guess they mean the deep ravines and the hawk nests and the cliffs and the coyote trails that wind across the hills. I had to take out my ukulele here. I can't help but think and laugh when they ask me, aren't you lonely out there? I always look at them a little surprised. And I say, how could I be lonely? I'm the one in charge of celebrations. What? In charge of celebrations? Who told you you're in charge of celebrations? Well, sometimes they don't believe me. But it's true. I am. I put myself in charge. You can do that too. I put myself in charge. Last year, I gave myself 108 celebrations, besides the one that they closed school for. I cannot get by with only a few. So friend, I'll, I'll tell you how it works. I keep a notebook, and I write the date, and then I write the celebration. Do you have a notebook? You could do this. You could. Just make a little note, like a celebration you'd like to do. I'm very choosy about what goes in the book. It has to be something I plan to remember for the rest of my life. You can tell what's worth a celebration because your heart will pound. And you'll feel like you're standing on top of a mountain. And you'll catch your breath like you were breathing some new kind of air. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Otherwise, it's just a regular day of the year. I would like that kind of day every day of the year, but it's just not always possible. Frankly, I wasn't even sure if today was going to be one of those days. Here's one of those days. Whoa, look at that. Can you see this? I know the lighting in here isn't very good, but... Look at that cloud. Whoa, is that a cloud or is that a parrot? Well, here's a, here's a celebration day. I have green cloud day too. Ask anybody and they'll tell you. Clouds aren't green. <laughs> but late one winter afternoon, I saw this huge green cloud. 
it was bluish green or grayish green or something else. This cloud was green. Green as a jungle parrot. And the strange thing was that it began to take a parrot's shape. First the wings and then the head and then the beak. High in the winter sky, that green bird flew. It didn't last more than a minute. You knew how fast, you know how fast a cloud can change. But I still remember how it looked. So, I celebrate green clouds on February 6th. At times like that, I always think, what if I'd missed it? What if I'd been in the house? What if I hadn't looked up just when I did? You can see, I'm pretty lucky about things like this. Wow. Do you think it's a green cloud day out there? Looks like kind of a gray cloud day, but who knows? Unless you look up. I'm going to share one more of these with you. There's, there's a lot of great celebrations in here. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll try to illustrate some of the pictures. Check this out. Whoa. Look at that. Climbing along a ravine, it looks like. Ooh, look at this one. Looks like we've got a little friend. A visitor. Maybe a coyote. Whoa. So here's the day I wanted to celebrate with you. So friend, I've saved this day for today. It's the New Year celebration. And in fact, it's, it's really May Day today. Not my New Year, but it's, it's a May Day celebration. This one is a little different celebration than most people have. Um, at least this New Year celebration. It comes in the spring. And to tell the truth, I never did feel like my New Year started January 1st. To me, that's just another day. Just another winter day. Let my year begin when winter ends and the morning light comes earlier the way it should. That's when I like to th that's when I like starting new. I wait until the white-winged doves are back from Mexico and wildflowers cover the wi cover the hills and my favorite cactus blooms. And I always it always makes me think I ought to bloom myself. Ooh, today's a good day to bloom, I think. And that's when I plan my New Year's celebration. I start to plan my New Year's. I finally choose a day that is exactly right. Even the air has to be perfect. And the dirt has to feel good and warm on my bare feet. Usually it's a Saturday around the end of April. Oh, well, that's kind of, uh, maybe that's today. That's, that's what I'm, I'm hoping it is. I have a drum that I beat to signal the day. In my case, it's a ukulele. Then I go wandering off, following all of my favorite trails, all, to all of the places that I like. I check how everything is doing, and I spend the day admiring things. So, that's what I encourage for you today. Spend the day admiring things. If you get to go outside, go wandering on all the trails that you like. Admire things that you've never seen before, or admire things that you've always seen and you've always admired. Just remember, today is a special day to admire them. I'm going to send you off with one more song, and it's a song I just learned which is also about May Day. It's about blooming because uh, May Day is Lay Day in Hawaii. Do you know what a lay is? What's a lay? Wait, 
you might have seen this maybe sometimes when people like arrive in Hawaii some people meet them indigenous people of Hawaii they will meet them and they give them a, a necklace that's a necklace of flowers and that is called a lei and so May Day is Lay Day in Hawaii. Oh, I've got Marissa over here showing, showing us her cat. My cat's camera shy today. Hi! Hello! Oops. There you are. Hi, kitty. Mr. Tiger. That's our, that's our own Mr. Tiger there. It's always acting wild in our house. So here I want to pull up the uh, the song for May Day is Lay Day in Hawaii. I will actually I'll paste uh, some some lyrics in the chat here, so you can sing along if you like. see any um workers out there on strike today you know give them a, a fist you know just show them your fist like this you know and say like yes i know you're fighting for better working conditions i support you 
thanks for joining me. Uh, my name is Jez. I, uh, yeah, thanks for joining us at the Brooklyn Public Library. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know if anybody, I guess I've got still got 12 eyes on me right here. If anybody has any questions, you know, things they want to talk about, um, I'm happy to, to, you know, answer questions. Maybe about the history of May Day. I, I'm not an expert of the history of May Day, but I would look up information because I am a librarian. <laughs> so uh, here we go. I'm just going to actually review some of the comments. This is one of the greatest, I think, things here. I just want to check out some comments. Wow, great idea. Here we go, 108 celebrations. Yeah, Rebecca, let's have some awesome celebrations this year. All right, I have uh, Ignacio solidarity we're all in this together your problems are mine too that's so true that's like such a great example of solidarity because if someone else is having a bad time like they're having problems then you are going to be affected by that they're going to be in a bad mood it's going to be hard to get along gotta have solidarity oh sh i have a shuba I'm not sure if I'm saying your name right, but Shuba, second time I've been brought to tears by BPL story time. Yes! You rock, Shuba. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I got a fist from Ignacio, right? Oh, I wish I could. I want to give a. That's great. That's great. I'm going to give a fist. Yeah, a lot of people giving out solidarity forever here. That's great. Juana Flores, solidarity. Luis, solidarity forever. Elise, solidarity forever. Nice. Oh, Shuba, you you were gonna play on our on a violin. You played with me. That's so cool. I like that. I'm going to like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mariah. Yeah, Mariah. Unions for the win. Oh, yes, this is some great roaring we had back here. Awesome. So cool. Did anybody have any comments? Any further comments? Oh, yeah. Thanks Thanks to all the workers out there. I know there are, there are people working today. I mean, technically, I'm working today, but only for this period of time, actually. Right after this, I'm going to go outside, and I'm going to go explore some trails. So I think I'm going to get ready to do that. I'm going to switch over to my, like, a phone, and I'll, I'll go wandering in my backyard. We'll kind of go admire some things, okay? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I appreciate Thanks for joining me. I, I'm going to end the live video now. I think it's the time, you know? So, yeah, thanks for joining me. Have a great May Day. Solidarity forever. Thank you to all the workers.